Good day, ladies. So today we're going to classify three different types of solutions based on their pH. And so we're going to use our indicators to determine the nature of our unknowns A, B, and C. So you will see in front of you all of the apparatus and materials that we will be using in today's experiment. We're using methyl orange indicator, phenolphthalene, screen methyl orange, our unknowns, which are all colorless solutions. I have here a pair of forceps, which I would use to pick up my litmus paper. We have red litmus and we have blue litmus. Now, for safety's sake, so that I don't place my litmus on the bare desk in the lab, one of the things that I will do, or what I have done here, is to place my litmus on a clean watch glass. And so if I've placed my litmus on a clean watch glass, then I have ensured that my litmus is not going to get contaminated with anything that is on the surface of my desk. And I am using a pair of forceps, a pair of clean forceps, because I don't want any solutions that might end up on my hand while I do this um, experiment to by accident end up on my litmus. It also makes it easier to just pick it up and, um, and dip it into the solution. So we'll be using test tubes. I have a white tile so that I can compare much easier, some white background so that it is easier for me to view the colors of my solutions if there is any change that occurs. So we'll continue um, starting off with our unknown A. And um, we'll move from, sorry, we'll, we'll use each indicator separately. So we'll, I'll add each indicator to the solution separately so that you can see the comparison of each solution with that one indicator. So first up, I'm going to just add my um, litmus paper to my solutions. So red litmus, I'm going to add my red litmus to my solution A, and you are recording the color change of the indicator. So I started off with red litmus and I've dipped it into my indicator, and this is what it has done. I'm going to take my red litmus and add it to solution B. red litmus add it to solution C. So that was my red litmus. So here is my blue litmus. Adding my blue litmus to solution A. blue litmus to solution B. And my blue litmus to solution C. So this gives you an idea of what happened with our solutions when we added litmus. So again, this was A with red litmus. This was B with red litmus. C with red litmus. We're looking at A with the blue litmus. B with blue litmus and C. Remember, you are recording the color change of the indicator.
So this was our last test. This is the end of our experiment to determine the identity of our solutions.